Hello students, today is my fifth video on MS Access. In previous video we have already learned out how to create a table, how to create a uh, forms, design a report, what is the use of report, what is the use of forms. Forms is actually a first of a notepad. Actually, form is a kind of input data through form and report. You can show how many data are available in your database so before you starting we have already created here two tables first is student table where we have add some values and there is a, a roll number there is a field is roll number student name address and there is actually a image attachment and then state we have already discussed how to create this drop down list everything uh, in second table we have created a invoice which is something like that okay, suppose there is a student name is Rashri who submit their fees is to installment so if you click out there is an invoice id date roll number and invoice value invoice id is your actual type of uh, your receipt number and invoice date which uh, which date you have submit first installment and there is only roll number because we have no many of uh, there is a student name because we have relayed them we have just pulled out the uh, student name on the basis of roll number then invoice value 20,000 will be submitted by student which roll number is 2 same thing is uh, roll number 4 which have submitted to 9,000 fees in uh, 13 August of 15 and then this uh, id is 102 then again this row number two again submit the second installment of 5000 on 17 december there is a must be unique key on applied on invoice id so they are must be <coughs> different now there is a two table have some relationship because without relationship there is no meaning because we cannot fetch the value on both table <clears throat> for creating a relationship we could just go to the database tool before we further proceed we have just close the values go to the relationship we have already a relationship so for discuss we have just removed because we have here discussed to how to create a relationship now there is a two table first is a student table second is invoice id when we create a relationship between two different table there is a one field which must be unique on both field in our case the roll number is student which is has also be a primary key this is also exist in a second table as the name is invoice as a roll number but in here there is no primary key because primary key will be applied on invoice id so how create a, a relationship just click on your first table in which this is a primary key click on that drag to the next value on roll number just pull out okay now you can see there is a first table student there is an invoice uh, many times student will be says uh, uh, we have not pull out the uh, infinite sign because you have just create a relationship reverse side before you creating a relationship you must be notice that you must drag this value to this not this value to this because in first value this is a primary key this may be exist in many tables so this is not be one too many if you click on this and then drag to second table on student this means there is a one to one relationship there is no meaning of infinite 
so where it must remember you must be click on your primary key to this row number so just click on that and just drag out to this row number this is student row number and then is invoice row number and then look at this option a referential entry duty first what is a referential integrity actually this also be called foreign key means when we update or delete values it must be change associated table means like take an example after you click on this option there is a two option is also be enabled update and delete what is the meaning suppose suppose there is a student name which have already discussed as a rashtri uh, we have just update the student name suppose uh, we have updated he was the changing her name and we have updated this name to our student table what that meaning if there is a more than one table will be associated to student the name will be automatically change in every table as the same way if you delete the record from student table the associated table entry is automatically deleted because there is a relation type is one to many just create it and you can see there is a one to many maybe they are saying means that there is a row number entry which may be more than one table if you have created a third table you can also be a drag a relationship so this is the main relationship now what happened we have just applied again the query go to the either you have go to the query wizard or go to the query design we have just put the query design first we add the both table invoice and student okay now condition is suppose we have query that please give me the student name address invoice id date of roll number 2 uh, so we have just first we have discussed if what fields are want first i want a student name so student dot student name i want a student address we also want a student address then we want uh, invoice id also want invoice date and value the most important field because without value there is no meaning and this is the last option in which we have exist our that field which have some conditions like we want all these information which student roll number is equal to 2 we have just pass a value 2 here just go to the run option what is the meaning of this query show me the student name address invoice id invoice date and value which roll number is 2 just run look at that a roll number 2 which name is rashri address is a bikaner id is a 101 because there is a two installment first installment is 4th august second installment is 17th august and the value is 20,000 and 5,000 so this query will be going to on this is the meaning of relationship there is a two table first student first two field come from the student table and remaining three field come from second table that is invoice we have just fetched the value on both table <coughs> okay 
Now I want that uh, something a very interactive version we've already said is the prompt version. Suppose I want that we have not given a value as a design view. We have just entered a value when our query will be run. So will we apply as a prompt box? What is a prompt box? That means a user a user can enter the value at run time okay what we can do we have just add the bracket that is a bracket and just type any message enter any row number and close that bracket and go to the run option look at that now it will be asked to roll number we have just provide roll number three and we have no entry as a uh, roll number three we have again go to the design view again run just apply to four village entry yeah as a kid name address is a visual id is 102 date and this is an invoice value so this is known as our query now we want we have go to the our uh, boss and they will be says Ki show me here as a report format i have never meaning of anything you have just give report a format and that report will be as a query basis also a prompt basis what we can do we have just saved the query we have just write query by user which is very easily understandable now go to the we have just create a report again just go to the report design but you have must click on this query and then go to the query report design sorry 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 create go to the report wizard i want the first again let's see again first delete it i want a report format first click this user and go to the report wizard first I want the first table that is a student name and then we have just want to all the field go to the next option go to the next You want to prompt the user and this we have saved four look at that yes go to the uh, design view and change the layout view. You just go to the layout view and change that layout so in this tutorial we have learned out how to apply a relationship also a query and student and uh, uh, creating a report there is also we have one type of a query that what is the solution what is the query type if you want that show me student name which have uh, something starting alphabet is a how we can create it just go to the create again go to the query design 
एट बोथ टेबल फर्स्ट वी वॉन्ट अ स्टूडेंट रोल नंबर स्टूडेंट नेम सॉरी स्टूडेंट नेम पे हम कंडीशन लगाएंगे वी हैव जस्ट इमेज एंड इन वॉइस वैल्यू विच एनी वन स्टूडेंट नेम विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम मे यू जस्ट टाइप ए एंड एस्ट्रिक वट इट विल शो दैट इट विल फर्स्ट टेक द एल्फाबेट ए and after that he will never be see what he will we have to do he just fetch a value which first character is a now run we have only one value ankit roll number this image is not present so this is actually a next value so in this tutorial you have learned out where is queries relationship Thanks for watching.